Turkey's prime minister has visited the site of the bombing in Ankara that killed 97 people. The government believes the Islamic State is behind the suicide blasts. As Mihal Baravid reports, people are pointing fingers over perceived security failures. On Tuesday morning, Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu paid an unplanned visit to the attack site at the capital's train station. He laid carnations in tribute of the victims who were killed during the peace rally on Saturday. On the third day of mourning, life seems to be back to normal at the capital, Ankara. Traffic has reopened, people are visiting the site of the attack. However, security remains increased throughout the city. Some locals, such as this taxi driver who says he picked up a customer at the site only 10 minutes before the blast, stressed the mistake was to give permission for such a demonstration to take place here in the first place. This is a train station. People come here with their luggage. Police can't check every single luggage here. The rally should have started at the square below where there was security. We saw barricades and police officers there. The fact that a terrorist attack of this scale could take place at the heart of the city has traumatized many citizens. Since the attack on Saturday, we've been in a state of panic, of fear. We feel like our lives are in danger when we walk around, as if walking off a cliff every moment. Though Turkish Prime Minister has pointed the finger at Islamic State, it's still not clear who is responsible for this twin suicide bombing. It seems it will take some time before Turkish citizens regain a sense of safety across the country. Mihal Bardavid, CCTV, Ankara.